Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the types of the common column failure. So types of column failure. There are three mostly common failure of the columns. One is the buckling failure. One is the compression failure. And the third one is the shear failure. So I'm going to explain these three types of the column failure in detail with explanation and also with figures so it will be more easy to understand and more easy to follow. So we are starting basically first with the buckling failure. The buckling failure can be defined as it is a failure when the columns is subjected to the lateral deformation. So for example if I consider this is any column and when this is any column with any kind of support for example fixed support and when there is a load p is acting on this column so due to the this load when this load increases and increases in the height of this column for example this is height h of the column and this is too high then what happen the column sometimes buckle or we say it shows deformation in the lateral direction in this direction if this is x axis so the column shows deformation in the x axis and it moves to its new position with a deformation of x so x is the little deformation so now this kind of failure of column will be known as a buckling failure because there is a little deformation in the column so you see here when the load is acting for example here is any load acting on this column so you see that the column this is the original shape of the column and you see that there is some deformation of the column this which is the new shape so now it has some little deformation from its original position if this is the original position so we have some deformation here x so this little deformation because of the loading will create a failure which we call is a buckling failure and this mostly happens in the long columns so this is mostly happening in the long types of the column long column and how we can avoid this type of failure by making the cylinderness ratio less than equal to less than 30 now what is cylinderness ratio i have provided another lecture on this so please go to my channel and view this cylinderness ratio topic so basically we have to make it less than 30 in order to avoid such type of the buckling failure in the column which is, which is mostly in the long columns so what is compression failure the compression failure is basically the failure in which the resistance capacity of the column under compressive load is lower than that of the applied load so you see here when the load for example if i consider another column here this is any column and this is the load acting on this column so now the height h of the column is not too high we have a shorter column and in this case when the load acts in the ship in the resistance due to the load p there will be resistance r created inside this column so when the r the load increasing increasing the column is showing resistance but when r there is there will a stage reached where p p will be greater than the r so in this case when the load is greater than the r what will happen there will be a compression failure of the column which you see here where this part completely fails like maybe sometimes in two parts so this kind of failure will be known as compression failure where this, where this one part is whole uh, kind of buckle in both the direction or sometimes in two parts. So such type of failure will be compression failure where the resistance capacity of the column is lower than the applied load. So we can have such type of compression failure. And how to increase the compression capacity by making the high strength concrete or by changing the geometry. For example, if there is a cross section B and width, and this is the depth, so we can increase these two parameters in order to increase its compressive resisting capacity, and then we can avoid such type of compression failure. The third failure is the shear failure. And what is shear failure? This failure occurs because the shear capacity of the column at any point is lower than the shear demand. For example, this is a load acting on the on the column now because of the load we will have some stresses axial stresses here 
in the column and due to this some resistance will create it inside this column here in this direction but at one point the shear resistance capacity will be lower than that of the column here you can see the shear resistance capacity of this column is lower at this point so if i define it for example v shear resistance capacity vsr so at this point the column has a lower shear resistance what happened because of the load increasing and increasing it will fail suddenly at this position and will sliding and we will have a sliding failure in the column where the two components will fail and divide into two components in a sliding position or at some angle so such type of failure will be called as a shear failure in in columns so these are the three different kind of failure and shear failure is mostly also occurring in the short columns now what is the difference between short column and long column you can also watch my another video on the channel and compression failure is also occurring mostly in the short columns not in the long columns so depending on the types of column we have or three different kind of the failure of the columns buckling failure mostly because of the literal deformation of the column because of the higher height or length and compression failure because of lower compressor capacity of the column and shear failure because of the lower shear resistance of the concrete column section i hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video